Hello, welcome back to the Great Patriotic War. Last time we had kind of sorted out the northern front here. Uh, but after reading comments about um, how our tank divisions won't perform very well in bad tank country, uh, I did start to second guess my deployments here. Um, and I actually think it, it is worthwhile to move up if only one hex right here. Maybe even two. Hell, why not make it three? So, I think that's what we'll do. Um, it doesn't really change. Oh, actually, that does it does change our supply situation. I was gonna say it didn't change our supply situation, but it actually does. So. Yeah, a little bit more marching than they needed to do, probably, but what's a little fatigue? And then we'll stick them on um, reserve. And actually, this guy I'm going to leave on refit. Because he's got basically no tanks. And we'll stick this on refit as well. We really do need reinforcements badly so all I know from my discussions with the, the commenters and some people in my wargaming club is that it definitely performed like your tanks will definitely perform worse in bad terrain but I don't exactly know what that means in terms of the tiers of, like, are all rough terrains equal? Um, I assume the heavier the, the terrain, the worse it is. But which is heavier, swamp or light forest? Rough or light forest? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so I'll have to crack open the manual on that one. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But anyway, the the rest of this area we need to sort out as well. Uh, I think it's worth it to move these guys forward finally. Um, perhaps into this location here would be best. Just trying to think of a place where I can put them where they can get supply let's see we'll put them into this woods here at least it gives them a little bit of cover uh, the other option is we stick them right here and just let them kind of build up build up some more supply and whatnot just doesn't seem like they're getting great supply. Where is the 61st Rifle Corps? Right behind them. We might want to reassign him to something that's more nearby, like the Western Front. can move them up a little bit more. I mean, I really don't want to move anything that I don't have to move here. Because I'd rather just keep building up some supply. Is this even worth it to keep on the front line? 
The 102nd Tank Division was formed in July 1941 as a combination of a couple tank regiments. Um, and the stuff that it definitely does not have. It was assigned to the 24th Army in late July. It actually had some modern tanks. A single company with eight KVs. In addition to its 100 BT-7 light tanks. By late August at the Battle of Yelena, the two tank regiments had been combined into a single unit, the 102nd Tank Battalion. The 102nd Howitzer Regiment, regiment was split off to become a separate. As a result, by September, the division, effectively a single understrength rifle regiment, was reformed as the 144th Tank Brigade. That's very interesting because it's already practically a brigade as is. So it's funny that we're calling it a, a tank division. Well, that's fine. We could just leave it there. All these militia or uh, he's going to get withdrawn. Just trying to see if I have any usable forces over here. Oh, okay. So I do have a couple more armies I could send out. We'll find out if we need them anywhere. I mean, we kind of know we, we're going to need another one up there. Because we don't have enough armies up in the top. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll march someone up there. Let's find someone who's very good with infantry if we can. Remazov is not very good with infantry. Maybe this guy is okay. You. I guess there's a reason these guys might be in the rear with the gear. They suck. I guess Domotov is is terrible. I mean, they're all dead. None of these guys are particularly good. I guess this guy is the best so far. 32nd Army. All right, this guy might be usable. Really low initiative, but other than that, he's somewhat usable at least. Start marching them up there. All right, so let's think about the defense of Lucky Lucky here. This guy's been refitting for quite some time, and I don't know if he will ever he'll ever do anything again, but interested to see what he's gotten recently. He's gotten some re replacements and some vehicles, so he has been refitting. It's not like he's completely out of strength so who knows you give him a long enough on a line off time scale he might be useful again I'm feeling weird about leaving these guys here now that I know about that rule I think I'm gonna move them over I know it's going to waste some combat prep points, but I feel better about them being here. And maybe we can just bring up some infantry divisions here. Sorry, lads. I know that's a lot of walking that you guys haven't had to do in quite some time. 
the 24th army is back in here. So we're going to have to move that up. This rifle division will be on reserve. The 30th Army. Well, hell, why don't I give you to the 24th Army since you're already on top of him? And since he's not too bad with infantry, he's not too good with mech, but. Alright, so these tanks, who can I give them to that? is not incompetent with tanks. I guess Timoshenko is not bad. But the 16th, you're not good. 19th? Hmm. Oh, I already checked him. I don't know why I even bothered with him. start marching these guys back up here hopefully to get them some more troops we desperately need to get some troops into this region just don't really have any this guy's down to 4,000 men so that ain't great why does he want to move over here so badly I have no idea why they use so many movement points. I don't really care either. Hmm. So this heavy woods is not bad terrain. Move this guy back up here a little bit. Nobody is directly reporting to the third army. It's interesting. This guy directly reports to the 22nd army. It's the twenty seventh. Got to change that, even though he's he's relatively useless. But I guess he'll add a teeny tiny amount of combat power on point four. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Not much better than nothing, but a slight, small amount better than nothing. Um, using the principle of hopefully this works better 
I will try sticking my tank divisions in the open grounds in hopes that they will perform better. Desperate though those hopes may be. Okay. This is going to be our next line back here. Probably not even worth keeping this guy in refit, to be honest. He's so badly wounded. Just get him off the map. Just tank division is quote unquote ready. I'm ready. The army is in here. Okay, so all of his commands are right there. It's not even worth putting them on refit. They're so badly damaged. That guy's gonna gonna get his shit rocked this turn, but that's okay. Okay, so now let's see if we can escape some of these guys from this potential encirclement. So 
So one thing we could do is just kind of shift the line upwards a little bit. So like these guys would go to Gorky, potentially. At least it'll make them swing a little bit wider if I stick them there. And it is a relatively good tank hex. Now, this guy can't actually make it there. So what we could do is swing him up to Gorky. And we know that we want to swing these guys back to this river line. But maybe spread them out a little bit more. Not sure. Try to build a little bit more of a wall. Okay, we're going to move you up here. Oh, Jesus, I left some planes there. Shit. Okay, well, we gotta move them up. Oh, I left SP2s here. Oh, I'm such a moron. Those are gonna have to try to hold. Man, the 13th Army has some weird stuff here. Hmm. Well, maybe we could bring some of these reinforcements up into this area here. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. I really hope they don't get there. Can we give that some guards? Yeah. I think this will be good good terrain, good favorable terrain for our infantry here. So it'd be really be a strong point for us. Going to rail them out there. We'll stick all these guys in reserve just in case in case they don't get directly hit and then we could start shuffling them up north a little bit more next turn this is going to be a little little dangerous here if they decide to just go straight up this way so i hope that doesn't get a pocket formed um but I mean, th these tank divisions here can probably blast right through us, unfortunately. But in general, I'm not too unhappy with our deployments. The question is where all these guys go up to. Stavka, Stavka, Stavka. All right, so we decided last turn to bring up this guy, Raider, Ryder. And he's going to get the majority of these rifle divisions. Let's start with the ones furthest away. Let's see if they're in range. They're not. Hmm. All right, we'll give them to the airborne guy. For now. And the rest of them should be in range of the army. Why is he further? 
I swear to God, he's closer than the other guys. Whatever. He can go to the Airborne Corps, I guess. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Like one out of range. Is that how they're all going to be? I think for the most part they're they're almost exactly six away. Seven. We got a couple more HQs down here at least. A lot of reorganization this turn because of the the weirdness with the movement. Yeah, this guy's actually not too bad, so I don't feel terrible about assigning people to him. Oh my god. Stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Alright, screw it. We'll just triple stack. And let's make sure that these guys get supplies this turn. Oh, would you look at that? It's Das Reich. Now that's a famous unit. Don't want to fight those guys. They'll fuck me up. See if we can get this guy a little bit of supply, huh? Where's the 13th Army? 
Holy shit, he's assigned to that. Well, let's change that, shall we? Let's get to the 10th Army. And of course, it's again just out of range. Honestly, this guy's just going to have to come off the depot, I think. Crap, did I already assign? Ah, oh, I did. That's the worst. All right, maybe I can reassign one of these guys. Hmm. God damn it. I could stick them in a more forward position and then move these guys around. Before I do, well, no, not before I do that, actually. Get them right to the 10th Army. And the 10th Army, we want to make sure he gets some good stuff. So give him a couple howitzer regiments. Give him some core level artillery, really divisional artillery. Give him one of these things. Give him whatever we have for AA. And so that should do him. Stick this on refit. Maybe he'll get a touch of supply. Unfortunately, we already reassigned him, so we can't reassign him again. Question is, what will Das Reich do to me if I am right here? I kind of want to force him to go north, though, but not right here. Let's move this guy up here as a reserve. My concern is these two brigades here are just worthless, so I've got to give them a little bit more meat.
Maybe I could give him to the second airborne core. Let's see. How is this guy at infantry? He's actually not a bad commander. Compared to some of my commanders, I should say. So let's let's go ahead and move these guys up as kind of the reserve in this area. Does he have another unit? Oh no, that's just his HQ. He's going to be a little bit far from home, but that's okay. We'll stick all the guys that we can onto reserve. That way, wherever they attack our lines, maybe we'll get some more guys committed. And hopefully we can give the appearance of being strong, even when we're weak. As well give them to the airborne commander, right? Welcome to the second airborne. Well, this is really this is really a division, not a core. But I guess we can give them a little bit of a little bit of artillery, some divisional artillery.
No reason not to have artillery, I suppose. Oops. Meant to lock him up. All right, well, I'm feeling like Das Reich is actually going to have to pick and choose its spots now, which is as good as you can hope for. Here's hoping they pick and choose to go north. Because then, theoretically, we could bring the Cav army in like a turn after that. Because we do have all that Cav we have, we have available. And we could kind of smash them in this territory here. That's a very interesting idea. It's like if we brought our cab in very close to the front line. It's an interesting idea. Don't know if it would work, though. All right, so let's sort these guys out. These can go kind of where the other guys were. They're obviously still going to have to be on refit. I'd really like to get them off the map, um, but just can't afford to lose any units down here at all. I just I have to have everyone on the map. So this 21st Rifle Corps, who's under him? Just these two? I'd like to stick this guy in reserve up here. Just in hopes that he might get committed. All right, so that's probably going to be the battle with the, the Das Reich area, as we're going to call it for now. Uh, hopefully it convinces this tank army to move directly up towards Smolensk, where we do have some defenses. We're not completely defenseless. 
Not a lot of defenses, admittedly, but uh, but some. That is on reserve. Um, the only thing that's scary is if he could get across the river in one turn because there's really nothing that stops him from going up this way. But I don't want to abandon those bombers. Just such an idiot for leaving them there. Uh. Well, their mission is just to hold it for a turn and see if we can change anything from there. All right, so now let's start thinking about this area here. Got these really weak airborne brigades. The first airborne division, <laughs> shall we say, um, is just absolutely schwacked. They've gotten their teeth absolutely kicked in. He is certainly not the best general in the world. But at least he is around. This guy's actually much better. We want to make them swing wide this way and go north if we can. Mm, actually, we really don't. It'd be better for us if they did not do that. How about you? Looking for a somewhat strong division. This guy actually got a fair amount of supply in it, looks like. Got 21 vehicles. The southwestern front still has so much more than it's supposed to. The 121 over 72. I just don't know how to fix that unless I take an army away from it. I mean... Yeah, I just, I'm not sure.
It's actually kind of crazy that Viniesta held on another turn. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't smash that a little harder. But these guys are definitely swinging down more to the south now, which is good for us. Definitely good for us. Man, those SS divisions are looking scary. Bunch of Panzer division. I mean, this is just such a strong force around here. Other than that random infantry brigade. Yeah, it ain't looking good. Ain't looking good in the south here. That's for sure. I almost need these guys to spread out more. Then I could hit them with a cav army. Hmm. Gotta do some thinking about this. I definitely want this guy here. Because I want to start building up some combat prep points at, at this point. Start setting up our defensive Crimea. It's going to be a lot more defending than Crimea because you can just kind of pour units in there. It's a, a very good place to defend historically. Hmm. I mean, that's just some Ukrainian motorized unit. I'm not, not even sure if this is division strength here, if that's just a brigade. Where is the 12th Army? I think I gotta get the twelfth army up to like maybe here, because this would be kind of a good spot for a depot.
just a matter of finding uh, some divisions that are not totally effed up. Which is somewhat easier said than done. At least around here. Jesus. It's just so... Everyone's gotten so beat up down here. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it there for the night because we still have a lot more work to do on this bottom part of the line. Um, but there's only so many decisions you can make in one night before you start questioning every little thing. It's not really what we want to do. I want to be kind of fresh for these decisions. Uh, I mean, I do think that once they get up into here, we should be uh, all set. Where is the 28th Rifle Corps? Hmm. Goes back to the Western Front. So we're going to hold this this river line pretty effectively. And they're going to be forced to hopefully swing wide around us. So that puts him in a protected spot. That's at least somewhat defensive terrain, if not a great spot. Could move him further up. Uh, we'll let him refit for another turn. This thing's actually in pretty good shape now. march this pretty damn far down. Should we? I don't know. Let's read the unit history. This will be our last move of, of the night but let's read their unit history and see did they die here or did they not so the 190th soviet rifle division was formed in march 1941 and was assigned to the reserve of the southwestern front at the start of barbarossa it was only about half strength the division was eventually wiped out in the uman pocket in august 1941 and this is the Uman pocket, which is slowly forming as we speak. Um, and it's this is the stuff that we're going up against right here. The first p 
tensor group reduced, which means that they split in half, basically, which is what we can see on the map right here. They're splitting in half. So half of them are going this way, half of them are going this way, and their ultimate goal is to encircle our entire army, which in real life they succeeded in doing. They made it a big-ass pocket. And you can see how. I mean, we our strength here is just very little. So I do think it is worth it to throw throw a little bit of something down here. If only for the purpose of slowing things down. As usual. I might regret it somewhere down the road, but you know what? I'll give them some tanks too. We'll step him back one. We'll bring the tanks down. Oh shit, he's unready now. Ah, uh, oh well. <laughs> you hate to see it, but it happens. I guess we'll give them both to the 12th army. God, seven away. Got to be like that game. Let's see, can we bring anyone else down? And I said it was going to be the last move, but clearly we have a couple more moves that we have to make before I forget about them. Where is the third airborne core? Oh my god, it's all the way down there. Crazy. These things are just so hard to extract from this area. wonder if we can build up enough of a line here that we could at least slow them down.
Not looking hot. Sorry, lads. Nothing I can do to break you out. Honestly, this area is just terrifyingly empty. I know I gotta bring stuff into the north, but the north is gonna move slower. Oh well. Well, we're pretty damn close to being done. So next time should be a quick little couple of moves. And then we'll be able to turn the turn. So we'll we'll call this the end of week five. And uh hopefully we can do something to salvage the southern situation. I mean hope I'm pretty sure they're all just going to beeline for Odessa. But if we do have stuff break out through here, we could be in some real real big trouble. I think the majority of these are infantry divisions, though. Mostly just Romanian infantry divisions. It's, it's this threat here that is really threatening to break out. But hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully. Just trying to stick everything on reserve that I can. Oh man, it would be great if I could get another division actually useful down here. Just don't see any. This is probably the, this is a, the highest strength of the divisions down here. Um, but even them, they're... Uh, because they're routed, they're going to take a while to to get back together. They just need a few turns off. Which in the, the southwestern front area, especially the southern part of the southwestern front, uh, there's not a lot of turns off I can offer. You know, if they were further north, uh, then you can rotate in and out. But not in the far south. Definitely not stick this on refit too um, he goes right back to the southwestern front let's reassign him to go to someone who's got less troops maybe we'll just quickly go through and do that because now that we have armies down here that we don't need as many guys going right to the front level Honestly, do we really need the Cav Corps going to to that? Not sure we do. What is this white guy again? Fourth Army. I think we could safely give him to the Fourth Army, maybe. both of these guys it'll take a little bit of the burden off of the southwestern front getting him closer he's still pretty far over his limit though 
What else could we take away? Maybe the airborne core. Give him to the fourth army. So now the question is, does the Western Front have too many? It does by two. So then could we give anyone up here to the Leningrad front? Mm, it's probably not worth it. These guys all go to Stavka. Didn't even notice that before, but it's a good thing I came back up here, I guess. Let's get him further back. I'll put both of them on refit, see if they get anything. I'd say the same with these two. See if we can get them get their strength up a little bit by just being a little closer. There's a lot of these random tank divisions around. They must have just spawned in as like reforms of previously destroyed brigades or, or something like that. But well, we'll go back through some of that stuff later. It's just it's very frustrating having to leave this much space. I hate it. I wish there was a way we could sure up our lines a little bit but it's not the worst thing in the world um, I'd like to just hold on for another turn if we can in this these areas so they're worth holding on to for sure so anyways uh, hopefully I'll see you back on the Western Front the Great Patriotic War again next time. Until then, see ya.